the city has done extensive research across the town as to the types of buildings that exist today. Interestingly, I think you're going to hear me say this again, they have put into the into the zone map properties that people do not like. <laughs> and uh, what they're trying to do is preserve the existing character. But what that also means is that there are things that are existing that people don't like that they are also trying to preserve. So it's a great opportunity if you're saying, hey, I never really liked that property anyway, here's a way to weigh in. Um, so they did this review of the town, they looked at what kinds of buildings exist and they put them into categories and then they made a map that is associated with those form types. And what it does is it preserves most existing neighborhoods and it lets them grow more organically. And when I get to the history, you'll see why they wanna let them grow more organically. Now this says a link to digital version. I'm actually not gonna show that um, and instead, I kind of want to let you guys interact for a second so that when I go through this next history, it's more meaningful. So if you have a browser, I want you to type into the browser guidinggolden.com. And I'll try to go relatively slow, but I do have a lot to cover. Um, I'm hovering over the word current conversations and it created a drop down. Um, and I want you to know how to navigate this way because eventually they may take this zoning code rewrite off the front page. And it says city of golden zoning code update. You could click there. That is the same as scrolling a little bit and clicking here, city of golden zoning code update. There is a lot on this page, but what I want you to focus on just now, just so you can interact is um, go to this building form zone map. Um, although Kathy is going to put into the chat a digital version of the map, and that link is, if you can see my mouse up here, I'm clicking near it, digital version of form zone map. I just don't happen to like that map as much, so I'm not going to click on that. But you can click on that and then put your address in and find your home on the map. It opens up kind of small and you use normal sorts of navigation bars to slide around um, and you can make it bigger. I happen to live on East Street and 21st. So I'm, and some of the names are listed. And so in the South neighborhood or Central neighborhood, I'm gonna find myself oriented around Ford and Jackson. Here's Washington. I'm a little further south. Here's 21st. I'm sliding over so that 21st is in view, but you guys are doing something different perhaps. And if somebody wants to unmute themselves and, and say, hey, you know what? I can't do what you're doing, but I'd like to know what, what my zone is. Um, they could speak up and give me an address and I'll try to find it. So in zooming in on my property, 21st and East, right here, I see this color. It's kind of uh, ochre or tan. So I scroll to the bottom of the map where the key is. And I see that the tan color is called peripheral. So I live in a peripheral neighborhood. And if I go back and read some of the letters associated with it, it not only is peripheral, but it says it's R1 existing, R1A, and it's P for peripheral. 